The name of this book is Sammy Spider's First Shovel Oat. On a warm afternoon near the end of spring, Sammy Spider and his mother were snuggled in their web on the Shapiro's kitchen ceiling. Sammy glanced down and noticed Mrs. Shapiro carefully measuring a cupful of flour. What is Mrs. Shapiro doing, Sammy asked. She's making a recipe for blintzes. She will serve them this evening when the holiday of Shavuot begins. What's a recipe, Sammy asked. It's a list of instructions, Mrs. Spider answered. And here's the recipe for Mrs. Shapiro's blintz recipe. A cup of flour, two eggs, add one and a half cups of milk, and inside cottage cheese, egg, and sugar. And then there's the directions. First, she measured the flour. Then she added the eggs. Now she's mixing in some milk. What is Mrs. Shapiro doing now, Sammy asked. First, she made a thin pancake. Then she put a spoonful of cheese filling into the middle of each one. Wow, she's rolling them to make blintzes, responded Mrs. Spider. Can we make blintzes for shovel oat, pleaded Sammy. Silly little Sammy, spiders don't celebrate shovel oat. Spiders spin webs, replied his mother. Sammy lowered himself on a strand of webbing. He watched Mrs. Shapiro ladle some mixture into the frying pan. Suddenly, a drop of hot oil splattered upward and barely missed Sammy, who scurried back up to his web. Phew, that was close, sighed Mrs. Spider. Sammy looked down and saw Mr. Shapiro at the sink. What is Mr. Shapiro doing, he asked his mother. First, he washed the berries, she said. Then he sliced them. Now he's mixing them with sugar. Shavuot celebrates the first fruits of spring, explained Mrs. Spider. Mr. Shapiro is preparing strawberry topping for the blintzes. Sammy lowered himself as Mr. Shapiro sliced into a fat, juicy strawberry. The juice splashed up into Sammy's startled face. Yummy, said Sammy, licking the sweet juice. He climbed back down towards his mother. Would you like a taste, he offered. Silly little Sammy, grinned Mrs. Spider. Spiders don't eat strawberries. Spiders spin webs. Just then, Josh burst into the kitchen, carrying a small object. Is that a blintz, asked Sammy. No, laughed Mrs. Spider. It's a little Torah scroll Josh got at Hebrew school. It's like the large Torah scrolls that are read in the synagogue on Shabbat and the holidays. Shavuot celebrates the time when God gave the Torah to Moses, Mrs. Spider explained. First, Moses taught it to the Jewish people. Then they taught it to their children. Now it continues. Josh is learning Torah from his parents the way they learned it from their parents. What is it about? asked Sammy. The Torah tells the story of the Jewish people. It also has rules about how to treat each other with love, kindness, and respect, said Mrs. Spider. Is it a recipe for living, questioned Sammy thoughtfully. That's a good way to describe it, agreed Mrs. Spider. Josh gently placed the little scroll on the table next to a vase filled with fresh flowers. The blintzes smell delicious, he said. May I try one? First, I want you to take a plate of blintzes to our new neighbors, his mother said. Then come back. Wash your hands and you may have a blintz. Eager to get closer to the little Torah, Sammy zoomed down and landed right in the middle of the flowers. Achoo! He sneezed. A fine yellow powder covered him from head to feet. Startled, he darted back to his web. 
Mrs. Spider chuckled as she dusted the yellow powder off her sneezing little Sammy. You've had quite a day. First, you were nearly splattered with oil. Then you got splashed with strawberry juice. Now you're covered with pollen. You must be tired. Mother, I think I know a spider's recipe for living, he yawned. First, let's get you ready for bed, said Mrs. Spider. Then you can tell me what you've learned. Mrs. Spider tucked Sammy into his web. He whispered something into her ear. Now you're right, little Sammy, Mrs. Spider said. Now let's say it together. Spiders spin webs. On the last page is Mrs. Shapiro's Blitz recipe. I'll send it to all of you in an email to your parents. And that is the story. Oh, I have one more page here that I'll read. Shavuot means weeks, and the holiday is called the Feast of Weeks because it comes seven weeks after Passover. It celebrates the time that the Jewish people received the Torah on Mount Sinai. Shavuot also marks the harvest of the first fruits of summer. It is said that the words of Torah are as sweet as milk and honey, so it is traditional to eat dairy foods such as blintzes at festive meals on Shavuot. And that is the story of Sammy Spider's first Shavuot.